This is a Nikon D5500 and it's Nikon's latest advanced entry level camera. We're going to take a look at some of its features. This model follows on from the 5300 which I have here. Now you'll notice it's smaller and I also find it much easier to hold. They've moved the grip ever so slightly. It's also 60 grams lighter, so you're getting a lighter, more compact camera in the D5500. The other addition on this 5500 is that it's got a touch screen. You've still got the articulated screen so you can flip it out and move it around, but now we have touch. You can touch the screen to select settings. You can also touch the screen to select your focus points. And also, if you tap it a second time, you can take the shot. When you're reviewing your shots, you can pinch to zoom or just use your finger to flick through your photos. And also when you're using the viewfinder, you can still use the touch screen to select the focus point while you're looking through the viewfinder. This model's got built-in Wi-Fi so you can easily back up your photos to your computer or you can use your smartphone as a remote control for the camera. Like the D5300, it has an XSpeed 4 processor. It also has a 24.2 megapixel sensor, but it's a very slightly different one to the previous models. So this one's tweaked, so Nikon says you should see slightly better picture quality. You've also got a few extra effects in the effects menu and the ISO settings higher. So it's 25600 on this one compared to 12800 on the D5300. Now I've got the kit lens on here, that's the 18 to 55 mil lens. If you want to buy the body only, it's likely to be priced at £640 and it's due to be available from February. To find out more about this camera, to find out more about other products launched at CES, or to find out how to buy the best digital SLR, click on the links below.